Airhide is our trademark brand that we go to market. And it really is about not only the materials, but also about the experience of working with Plymouth Foam. From the very beginning, when you start talking with us about applications and environments and designs and specifications, all the way through production and into end of life product for new product life cycles. So that whole experience we call our air hide experience. So it's a new business for us. We've been in it for about two years. Um, contrast that to our core business, which we're celebrating our 40th year this year. So we're pretty excited about that. Um, and we call that our air pop business, which tends to be more in the EPS where air hide is a variety of materials and kind of a whole different experience around expanded particle foams like EPP, EPE, EPTU, and other materials. So as we look at that market, that market has been um, very widely penetrated in automotive, and that is an area for Plymouth Foam to expand outside automotive. So we're excited about doing that. Um, we, we like to say we're evangelists around the materials and the air hide uh, experience in a way that's different from what most companies are doing today. What we look for is we evolve and we really try to solve new needs that come up is new materials, new capabilities, and new services, ways to bring all of those to our customers and learn from some categories and be able to bridge those over into some newer categories. So we really try to build on our learning of almost 40 years, not just our 40 years of experience, but working with a lot of other uh, partners that are either within our industry or outside of our industry that we can collaborate with. What the 3D print technology does for us in terms of the tooling in particular is it gets us into those alpha builds, it gets us into pre-production, um, pre-qualification faster. So what we found is that the tooling for the uh, 3D print tool technology, we can do in about half the time, and we're actually seeing at about half the cost as well. So we can do the first tool. If we have to make design iterations, it's much easier than to print another tool with those design iterations versus starting all over again with a, either a machine or a, uh, or a cast aluminum tool. So it's an awesome process for us to get those products there. So what does that mean for us? It means we can develop those programs faster. We can help our customers get to market faster because the product life cycles are shorter these days and as we know, iterations need to be made and they need to be made faster. So for us, it really is a win-win situation and ultimately the end consumer wins because it gives much more selection and choice to the market. In order for us to explore and, and really move into some of these new markets, which is blue ocean territory for us, uh, this technology has allowed us to get closer to having a uh, lower production tooling that now can really go through the, the testing and the qualification that our customers are looking for. And that's the beauty of the 3D tool print technology is it allows you to experiment, right? So for us, we looked at the alternate materials. Um, venting in our business and in our industry is critical. So being able to kind of look at some different iterations with that to provide the best product is really important. And texturing is really, um, something that we see with 3D technology, not only in the tool, but being able to apply it to cast tools. So there's some things that we're looking at with this technology that I think will be game changers. So the, the properties of air hide allow for the materials to have excellent insulative properties, electrical properties, thermal properties, 100% um, recyclable, uh, number five, uh, and so with that, there's just a, a number of areas we can move into. You know, we're at a point where we're starting to launch new programs, people are getting excited about it, customers are embracing it, we have a lot of R&D and development programs going on, so we're, we're very excited about the future of AirHide.